everyone, and welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, I'm going to try to make my very own Make It Mini Lifestyle Surprise Ball. And so, we're going to open this one up to do a little research. All right, let's see what's inside this baby. Oh boy, oh my gosh. It's the one with the little terrariums. Oh, I've wanted this one. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Boy. All right, so we got the little boxes. And oh, so there's a little like succulent plant, and then there's like a drapey little string of bananas or something like that. It's not string pearl. Cute. Oh, that's so fun. All right, and then inside the bag, there is string. And we've got the dirt. Ow. And there's a shovel. And then, of course, the ball can be turned into a shelf. We snap the bottom on here. And let's take a look inside these boxes. So we got Happy Grow Co. One Medium Terrarium. Okay. Well, these boxes are cool. Oh, look at that. Oops. Very, very fun. Okay, so that's one. And then we've got one large. Okay, so this is the large. Side by side. Yeah, that one's a little taller. This one's like fat and this one's tall. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so according to the guide, all we have to do is put the dirt in the terrariums and add the plants and tie on the strings. All right, so let's just add some of this. You know, the texture of this dirt is definitely equivalent to like a kinetic sand. Oh, but I love the color of this one. It's dark brown. Because it sticks together, it's really not making too big of a mess. This one, mm, maybe this one fits better. Oh yeah, okay. I like the succulent and the tall one, and the little string of bananas fits nicely in the medium-sized one. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add the string. Unwrap that. I wonder how much I really need. Just like that much. All 
right? And then fish it through a little ring on top and tie a knot. There's one. Oop. My little bananas keep wanting to jump out of the pot. And two. I'll put this back in. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, since we got a plant one, I think that's what we'll try making ourselves. Oh, look at these. There's cactus ones. We just got that one and we have that one. So let's give this a go. All right, after looking the collector's guide over and opening that ball, I quick jumped on my computer and made up this little printable for us to use. To find my printables, you can go to my blog at poppyseedmini.blogspot.com. Make sure to print everything out on cardstock, except for this page. I'll show you how to print this one later. Cut out all the pieces. Don't cut out the shovel and the bag of dirt completely because before you do, we're going to cover them with packing tape. And it's so much easier to cut it out after you've already added the tape. To make the pots, first I fold down the top edge. And then I cut off the extra dark gray piece on this, on the back side. Glue down the edge. Then you're gonna curl it around something round like a pencil or a glue stick. And before the glue has dried on that flap, we wanna glue down the little gray piece. So if you can slip that under the other piece of paper there. and press that down while it's drying. The large pot is made exactly the same way. Once the pots are dry and you've made sure they're rounded out nicely, Set them on a scrap piece of cardstock and add hot glue to the bottom of the pot. I fill it up a little bit just so it takes up some of the space in the pot. And let that dry. It can get a little hot if you're holding the edges. Just to warn you. Once the hot glue's cold, clip off the extra paper. To make my pots look a little extra fancy, I glued a wooden button on my large pot. And I glued a wooden bead on my smaller pot. I picked up these wooden buttons at Michael's and I found these wooden beads at Hobby Lobby. All right, when making all the boxes, don't forget to cut out the little dip in the front. It doesn't show up very well printed. There's just that little rounded spot that you can cut out like so. So 
to make all of the boxes for this project. The big one and the two small ones. Score on all the lines. Scoring will help make sure this box folds together beautifully. Okay, once you have everything scored, then you're just gonna fold on all of the score marks. The front gets folded down. So, and all the bottom pieces here. There, see how nicely that folds once it's scored? The two sides fold over the bottom piece with the indent. And then you push this piece in and it holds it all in place so that all you have to do is glue the tab. And just glue that in place and let dry. All three of the boxes are made the same way. Now I'll show you how I print my own tissue paper. You're gonna take a regular eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper and glue around all the edges. And you're gonna stick on a sheet of tissue paper. Now, the key is though, you need to get it on so it lays flat because you don't want it rubbing on your printer. And you're gonna wanna make sure it's completely dry before you print on it. Make sure to cut off all the extra tissue paper. All right, I'm gonna go run up to my printer and then I'll be back. Okay, here's my printed tissue paper. And all you're going to do is cut around the edge that is glued to the paper. And then it should just pull free from the paper. I just ran this through my printer the same way I would run anything else through my printer. And peel it away. Okay, still have a little stuck here. Got a little crazy with the glue, I guess. There we go. And there we go, homemade tissue paper. All right, and for this project, I need about three pieces. So I'm gonna cut it in half. So I've got one big piece, and then I'm gonna cut one of my halves in half. There we go. Now I'm gonna save this for later. And then we're going to take the large and small pots and the large box and the small box and we can wrap our little pots up in their own tissue paper and stick them inside the box. Go, we got one and two. What a fun surprise that'll be. It's all about the packaging. Am I right? All right, now we need some plants. So for my first plant, I bought this succulent from Hobby Lobby and it was $2.99 and I'm just gonna pop one off and there is my little succulent. 
If you've been watching my videos, you know I haven't yet found one of the cactus ones. So I made my own and here's how. First, you're gonna need to put down a silicone mat. This is one I just bought for baking. Now, I'm just gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna start making rounded shapes. This is definitely something that you might have to play around with a little bit. And I try to make each shape and then let it dry a little bit. Don't, don't do hot on hot. Well, it can be a little warm, but don't do it too hot. Otherwise it'll meld into the other block. Just give it a moment. I feel like this is definitely a project I could see my froggy doing. She's got so many cool ideas with her hot glue gun. Let's add a little more off the top. See how that goes. And I'll add another one over here. Once the glue's dry, you can peel it up, but make sure it's really dry because I already destroyed one by trying to peel it up before it was dry. And you can flip it over. Now I like to add a toothpick and then fill in the back side to make the back side puffy too. Now you don't have to fill in the back. You could leave it flat. It looks cool that way too. I also add a little glue around the base so we can kind of make those roots like on the Make It Mini ones. You could also make different designs like these. Now, these are already dry and ready to go. So I'm gonna add hot glue to my mat and then peel these up and stick them into the glue. And make one of these cactuses that have a bunch of little bubbles and stuff sticking out. And I just stick the toothpick right into this one and glue it on. Then I take a piece of styrofoam to stick these in so we can paint them. Then I just take some green acrylic paint to paint these. It's definitely a project that's going to need more than one coat. Once the green paint is dry, you can go back with either a detailed brush or a small daughter tool and start adding little white spots. Well, I think I was having a little bit too much fun making these because I got a little carried away, but we have plenty of options. All right, I've picked out my favorite cactus and I'm gonna trim off the toothpick. Just clip that off and gonna leave a little bit, you know, so we can stick it in. And then I have our little succulent. So I'm going to wrap those up in the rest of the tissue paper. There we go. All right, for the bag of dirt, we've covered this in tape and cut it out. And now we just need to do a little bit of scoring so we can fold it. So score 
right across the line at the edge of the print and then fold it in half like so and that will score that line and then we need to score it at the same side on the back side so I kind of kind of bend it a little bit so I can see where to score. Like so. And then I also like to come back and add some lines like along the edge of the bag. Oops. And a couple lines at the top of the bag, like how it would look if there was a zipper or the zip up, you know, kind of like a Ziploc bag where it's got that extra stuff at the top. It just makes it look a little more realistic, I just thought. All right, so then we're going to fold it in half. The inside out and you're going to add glue along the edges. Try to only get the edges. We don't want to glue anything else. And then we need a little glue on the back side on the bottom ends like so and then we're going to flip it up and this is going to bend like so and then it helps to have some clamps to hold it while it's drying Here we go. Now just let that dry and make sure you give it sufficient time to dry because you don't want to start opening it up before it's ready. All right, once the sides are glued, you're going to pop in something to help fluff it out and push the bottom up and open like so. And then you can either use something like these are dried out coffee grounds. I like to use that as dirt often. Um, I'll just use a glue to glue it into my pots. Or I did wanna give kinetic sand a go. Now I'm not 100% sure because I haven't tried it yet. It might affect the print and the color of the paper since it's not sealed completely, but I'm gonna give it a go. So you've been warned. Now, the only bummer about this is I could not find kinetic sand that was uh, dark. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but I wonder if I mixed my coffee and the kinetic sand together. All right, this is probably just totally gonna wreck my kinetic sand, but I'm willing to give it a go for your guys' sake. So I'm gonna put some sand there and then I'm just gonna put my coffee grounds on it, I guess, and mix it together and see what happens. And the coffee might not stick at all, I don't know. Might smell nice though. <laughs> some of it's sticking and some of it's not but I'm getting a little bit of a different color, so that's something. All right, well, some of it's stuck. So now I'm just gonna take it and put it in the bag. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's just kind of melting into it. Kinetic sand is fun, that's for sure. All right, and then what I'm going to do is if you want it sealed completely, you can glue it across the top or you can just put a strip of tape over the top if um, you're just gonna open it up right away again anyway. To make this shovel, I've cut out both of the heads of the shovel. They've both have been covered with the packing tape to make them shiny. And I'm just gonna cut out one of these triangle areas. And that's gonna give me a surface on the back to glue down the handle. So flip the other one over and glue them together. If there's any white edges or anything on the sides or on the front, we'll just trim that off later. To make the handle for my shovel, I'm gonna use this bamboo skewer. Now I'm gonna cut a little bit of the tip of it off because I don't think I need quite that much of a tip. All right. And then if you want to, you could drill a hole in one end and you're going to want to do this before you cut the end off. So you have something to hold on to. Now I just bought this small little drill in the wood section at Hobby Lobby. And it came with all sorts of different tiny sizes of drill bits. It's been very handy, but you don't wanna drill through your mat. So I'm trying to be careful. There we go. And then We'll cut off the end. And then sand off the end to kind of round it out. Then I take my little shovel that we've glued together and I'm gonna pinch the middle section up and then bend the center to give it that kind of spade look. And then I'm just gonna glue that handle in to the white of the paper here. And I like to use my glossy accents for this because it glues a little harder and stronger than some of my other glues. Right, make sure your hole is facing the right direction. And let that dry and you can shape it a little bit more later once it's dry. To make the book, you're gonna cut out all the pieces. Then for the book cover, I cut off the corners. and I'm gonna score around all the edges. One thing I like about using my Fisker's cutter is it has this little metal wire here, so I can kind of see where my score line is gonna end up. So that's why you see me using this to score across. Then you fold down and glue all the edges. Add more glue, not all the way to the edge, but just across the top of these. And glue down the inner lining of the book. Now I must have cut a little too far into the corners because normally I don't get any white here. So just be aware of that. You will also score the spine of the book once they're glued together.
All right, we'll just let this dry while we work on the pages. For the pages, again, you're gonna score in between each line for each page. And there is one page in particular, this one right here, it has a gray line. And you actually score on the gray line and not on the white. Then, once it's scored, fold the pages accordion style. Like so. Glue all the pages except for the first one and the last one. And again, this is where my clamps come in handy. Hold it down while it's drying. Glue in the pages. Make sure you cut your pages facing up and your book facing up because <laughs> uh, I've glued it in upside down before. All right, and let that dry. To make a little bag of rocks, I just take a square of tooling and I fold it into four and I'm gonna cut it into a circle. Like so. <laughs> right, the circle here. <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm going to sew around the edge and gather it. creating a little bag for us to put the rocks in. So then I'm just going to pick out, so <laughs> funny story, I sent my kids outside to pick rocks for me <laughs> out of the driveway. <laughs> So, I mean, be creative. You don't need to buy rocks, right? Just add some fun colors, whichever ones you want. Colors, shapes, different sizes. I don't know. We're getting creative here, right? Here we go. Once you have your rocks in, you're gonna pull your string tight and then, you know what? I think there's a simpler way of doing this. I cut my string off and then I'm just gonna tie it around the bottom here like so. And then I'm getting more of the size that I wanted anyway. This seems so much simpler. So yeah, maybe just tie it up. Cut off the extra. And then, okay, so I just take the River Rocks tag and I fold it in half like so. And then we add some hot glue to my bag on both sides and glue that in place. Only the bottom of it though. 
Now once that's dry, I take my very tiny hole punch here and put a little punch in the top. You know, so you can uh, hang your tiny rocks. All right, we've got everything made. Let's load up the box. So the first thing I would do is add our little um, pot boxes. <laughs> pot boxes, yeah. Um, add in your dirt and your book. And then we've got our plants that we're wrapping up in our tissue paper. Our little rocks and our shovel. And there we go. And then your friends or whoever you give this to, or <laughs> if you make surprise boxes for yourself, like I just did, you will get the joy of unwrapping and making these little potted plants for your dollhouse. Now, I want you guys to let me know if you would like to see more videos like this where I create our own surprise boxes to make because I have a few ideas that I would love to share. But I'm just kind of curious how you guys are feeling about that. So let me know in the comments. We have our pots and now we're gonna add our dirt. And I did just tape the top of mine because I knew I was gonna be pulling it out. If you want the whole experience of like cutting it off like you would a real bag, then you'll probably want to glue it shut. All right, and then you can grab your shovel and let's see how this goes. And shovel our dirt into the pots. Now, so far, testing out this kinetic sand, nothing seems to have um, rubbed off on the paper at all or anything. It looks like there was just enough dirt in the bag. Whoop. Oh, no, we have a little extra to fill up both pots. So that worked out really well. Now, if you're worried about not having enough dirt in the bag, I suppose we could always add a little more hot glue into the pots beforehand. All right, making messes here. All right, and then now this one just squishes right in and looks fabulous. And then our cactus, we're gonna stick in here like so. Ooh, how cute is that? Oh, I'm loving this, you guys. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Oh, and then, okay. We're definitely gonna have to destroy the packaging on the rocks a little bit to get one out, but maybe if we just put a little hole in the bag in the back and cheat a little bit. So we still have our cute packaging. Okay, and then we can add some of our rocks around our little cactus. Oh, they're jumping away. Well, I sure hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have fun crafting. And don't forget to check out some of our other videos. Isn't this cactus adorable? I mean, come on. <laughs>